Today we're learning how to multiply scientific notation. Here are the six examples. Multiply and write each answer in scientific notation. Give it a try and play the video whenever you're ready for the solutions. Question number 1. 2 times 10 to the 4th multiplied by 3 times 10 to the 3rd power. In multiplying scientific notation, we simply multiply the A values 2 and 3, that is 6. And then what do you think will happen to the exponent of base 10? The exponents are 4 and 3, and we need to add those exponents 4 and 3. So the answer is 6 times 10 to the power of 7. Question number 2. 7 times 10 to the 5th multiplied by 12 times 10 to the power of 6. The first thing that we need to do is multiply the A value 7 and 12, and that is 84. Now we need to add the powers 5 and 6. So we have times 10 to the power of 5 plus 6, and that is 11. In scientific notation, the A value here of 84 is not allowed because A has to be more than or equal to 1, but less than 10. So we need to change 84 to 8.4, and what do you think will happen to the power? The power will increase by 1. So the final answer is 8.4 times 10 to the power of 12. Question number 3. 3 times 10 to the power of negative 3, multiplied by 5 times 10 to the power of negative 4. The first step is to multiply 3 times 5, that's 15, and we need to add the powers negative 3 and negative 4. So that is times 10 to the power of negative 7. The same thing with number 3, we're not allowed to have an A value of more than 10. So we will write it as 1.5, and the power will also increase by 1. So that's negative 7 plus 1. And that becomes 1.5 times 10 to the power of negative 6. Question number 4. 6 times 10 to the power of 8 multiplied by 12 times 10 to the power of negative 4. The first step is to multiply the A values 6 and 12, and that is 72. And then we will add the powers of 10, that's 8 plus negative 4. So that is times 10 to the power of positive 4. Simplifying this further, because our A value is more than 10, and that's not allowed, so we will write it 7.2. And this means the power will also increase by 1, so that is 4 plus 1. And the final answer is 7.2 times 10 to the power of 5. Question number 5. 5.1 times 10 to the power of negative 3 multiplied by 4 times 10 to the power of negative 4. First step is to multiply the A values 5.1 and 4, which is 20.4. Now we add the powers negative 3 plus negative 4, and that is times 10 to the power of negative 7. What do you think is the final answer? We need to simplify 20.4 as 2.04. And this means that we need to add 1 to the power as well. So the answer is 2.04 times 10 to the power of negative 6. Question 6. 7.2 times 10 to the 0 power multiplied by 3 times 10 to the power of negative 6. So first step is to multiply 7.2 and 3, that is 21.6. And then we add the powers 0 and negative 6. So we have times 10 to the power of negative 6. Simplifying this further, we need to rewrite 21.6 as 2.16. That means we need to add 1 to the power, 
and that becomes 2.16 times 10 to the power of negative 5. Thank you for watching and please consider subscribing to my channel at Celso Academy.